What's going on, people? I just left the dentist, so my voice may sound a little funny. It's really weird because they numb my, my mouth, but my nose is numb. My nose is feeling all tingly and numb and whatnot, so it may sound a little funny to you guys, man. But I want to comment on these videos that I see on YouTube, man, um, that's talking about erasing black men. Um, encouraging black females not to give birth to black men. I watched a video that was put out by Team Rob, formerly known as the nigga with the tattoos, formerly known as the revolutionary. I got a question for this brother. Brother, what did you do to Cynthia G? I have not seen that much scorn, hate, anger, despise for black men like I do for Cynthia G. Cynthia G started out as pro-black. She went from pro-black to swirling. Then she went from, from swirling, I'm trying to speak because my mouth is kind of blubbery, but she went from swirling to erasing black men. You would think that she would be content with swirling. Get your white dude, move on with your life, be happy. You don't have to deal with black men no more. But it seemed like she want to continue to hold on and capitalize off black men while trying to inspire and encourage other black females to despise black men. This all took place after Team Rob. So, listen, brother, I listened to your video. You said some good things that sound good, and I agree with you. But my question to you is, what did you do to her? What did you do to Cynthia G to make her so angry? And now you're trying to relay a message to black men or to people that question you on black females not wanting to give birth to black men. I've always been a person that I talk to women. If I meet somebody that I think I might be interested in or that may be interested in me, I talk to these women and I don't think that in relationships nowadays, I don't think people talk to each other. I think they meet each other. They may find they have certain things in common and then they end up in bed together. Now they're producing children. You don't take the time out to talk to this woman to find out what's in her mind. And women don't take the time out to talk to men to find out what's in their mind and what they want out of life. They just jump right into a relationship. They just allow lust or finances to overtake them. Um, and they don't really take time out to talk to that person and get to know that person. Me, on the other hand, anyone, any female or woman that's pro-choice, I know not to get with this woman because we differ in values. We differ in uh, mindset. She have a totally different agenda in her mind than I do. I believe in pro-life. Now, brothers, you have to be careful what with these black females that say that they're pro-life 
but they understand and they still feel that black females or women should have a choice. But she's not pro-life. She's actually pro-choice. Posing to be pro-life. Just in case somewhere down the line she chooses and decides to want to abort a baby, then that option she's leaving open for herself. So even with these females that claim that they're pro-life, but they agree that women should have the choice over their bodies, then she's trying to deceive you and she's deceiving herself. So you have to really be more selective on the women you choose, brother, because the stuff that a lot of these females are talking about nowadays, man, is stuff that they talked about back in biblical days. You know, remember... Uh, like where they kill all the uh, all the Hebrew male children, right? Well, the same thing is taking place today. But only as black females are saying to erase all of the Hebrew male child. You know, erase all the black men because they are so bitter because of past relationships that they've been in or because of their baby daddy. You got people like Cynthia G that's got so much anger in her heart that she even hates her own son. If she's got a son, when she say that black women should not give birth to black men, she's in essence saying that she hates her own son. She hates her brothers. She hates her father. And maybe her father wasn't there for her. Maybe her father skipped out on her, right? But for her to just come out and say that all black men should be eliminated. If all black men were erased or eliminated, that eliminates black women. You follow? So she hates herself because to do away with black men means to do away with black women. That's self-destruction, right? Many black females have severe mental issues. People like Cynthia G, people that think like her, that follow her, and you can see it right in her chat section. And many of them, brothers, we have to be careful because many of these females that's in her chat section that's commenting and that's anti-black men and praising white men. Most of them females are under ghost accounts. So you really don't know who they are. They're under ghost accounts. So off the internet, these same black females could live next door to you, could be sleeping right next to you, right beside you. And they have these thoughts in mind. See, so you have to really be careful who you choose to lay down with and be more selective. Brothers, stop putting babies in these females. Stop putting babies in these females, man, because these same females that you lay down with, if they can't capitalize off of you via child support or them gold digging, then you are no value to them at all. Black men, you are no value. Listen, maybe there is some benefit to these immigrants coming to this country, man, because black men have options. There's a lot of options out there for the so-called black men. So explore your options, man. Don't just be restricted and enslaved to blackness you know i made a video a long time ago about not betting on black you know because we see where this generation is going and the following generation just the mindset of these people that's giving birth to children you know and they're raising their children um in an environment that's not healthy at all man and and we see what, what's happening with these kids out in the street and how they erasing each other. 
and how they just attacking people, being a menace to society. That's just not a movie, man, that Tupac was in. This is reality, right? So, brothers, we have to really be careful, man. And again, you have to get back to talking to these women, man. If you meet a female that you like, you feel that she's feeling you, man, sit down and talk to her. Find out what's going on with her. Find out what she believe in, man. You know, how she feel about children, how she feel about um, abortions, how she feel about being pro-life or being pro-choice. If she's pro-choice, man, y'all don't need to be together, especially if you're thinking about having children, right? You have to sit down and talk to these women. If she's claimed to be pro-life, but she tell you, I understand women should still have, you know, power over their own bodies then she's not pro-life. She's still pro-choice. She's just leaving doors open for herself to later make that choice and decision to erase her baby from her womb, especially if she don't like that black man, right? So Cynthia G have like a severe mental health issue, man. But again, Team Rob, nigga with the tattoos, the revolutionary, what did you do to that woman to make her so angry? Again, she went from being pro-black to swirling, pushing swirling. She don't talk about swirling no more. She's now talking about eliminating, erasing black men from the planet. See, and she's spreading that venom to other black females that's like-minded all right so many of y'all brothers are sleeping with the enemy you better you better sleep light at nighttime man be just be aware man and don't be quick to move in with each other man don't be quick to marry these females you know know what you're getting involved with man because um their mind is not right their mental state is not healthy at all but Team Rob, what did you do to Cynthia G? Why is she so bitter, man? You know, and you just nonchalantly telling brothers like, oh, you know, uh, they're going to turn into lesbians and don't listen to them, don't pay attention. And then you start talking about the alpha male. And what did you do to that girl, man? What did you do to Cynthia G to make her despise black men and if she was so content with swirling and these white dudes she should have her white man and she shouldn't even be thinking about black men just move on with her life but that's not happening she went from swirling to erasing black men eliminating black men so she's saying that she hate her own son if she's got a son if you gave her a son man she hates her son despises him but what did you do to her? What did you do to Cynthia G? So feedback, tell me what you think. I'd be glad when this wear off, man, because my mouth feel blubbery. My words don't sound right. So until next time, I'm fearless.